well, this is on the workshop. We're just voting to to suspend the workshop to move into the special call, and then we'll come back. The time is exactly six o'clock. And um, Madam Clerk, would you do roll call, please? Councilman Burgess. Uh, here. Councilman Shelley. Here. Councilman Williams. Here. Vice Mayor Woolman. Here. Um, City Manager. We have one item of China. business allowing a bowling alley use in the restricted re retail commercial district. An ordinance of the City of Homestead, Florida, amending the City Code of Ordinances by amending Chapter 20 Zoning, Article 3 District Regulations, Division 11, B1, Restricted Retail Commercial District, Section 3256, uses permitted to permit bowling alleys provided for severability, inclusion of the code, conflicts, and an effective date. It's the first reading. Do I have a motion, please? Move it. Second. Any discussion, questions? Could. Mr. Shelley, if I had hand up, I'm sorry, Mr. Okay. Thank you, Madam Vice President. Let me read. Um, my, my question is regarding the, the zoning. Is the reason that we're adding it to B1 because that's the easiest methodology? I know as far as the time constraint, otherwise I guess the applicant subject to this particular provision would have to apply for a, a change of zoning, um, which I'm okay with in, in, in concept. I just want to make sure that we're not adding some sort of an intense use that doesn't fit with all the other uses within B1 just to accommodate this one particular project. So if you could get a report on that. Yes, Joe Cordino with Del Development Services. Um, the, uh, the bowling alley, the, the site used to operate as a bowling alley. It's, uh, it's, um, uh, it's a use that, uh, it's a non-conditional use. It ceased to operate for 90 days, but it did operate as a bowling alley. The, B, the bowling alley use is actually in the B2, B3, and B4, and those uses get progressively more intrusive. Bowling alley is not particularly an intrusive use, um, and, it's, and the code asks that when you do a bowling alley, when it's uh, adjacent within 500 feet of re residential property, that the, uh, that the facility be, uh, uh, have soundproofing in it, and that's in the, the B2. Uh, so we've got a, a use that was there. Uh, we're simply going to put it into the B1. Uh, we don't believe that it is uh, something that would be a nuisance to the neighborhood. And that's why we recommended for it. Well, just to get for I, mean, I, I agree with the, the concept of where, I mean, I agree with where it's at. That, that particular parcel of land um, has no problem being a bowling alley. It used to be an old bowling alley. It makes sense to be a, be a bowling alley again. It's right on a main thoroughfare. So I don't have a problem with it. The only thing I, I want to make sure is that we're adding this, this use into B1 generally in our code. So if someone wants to go to any other B1 property and turn it into a bowling alley, as a matter of right, they, they technically could. So I just want to make sure that we thought through the process to make sure that all the other B1 areas we have that wouldn't be conducive for Bowling Alley, that the Bowling Alley wouldn't necessarily have a problem with the code in general. So if, that's what I want to hear from, from yeah. I guess, from staff's yeah. perspective. Yeah, and we are comfortable with that. I mean, I, I don't know ex exactly how many square footage, how much square footage of property would be impacted, but the fact that the use will, it, by necessity, uh, when it's within 500 feet of a residential area, needs to make sure that it's mitigated the potential oh. negatives mainly being sound, that we were comfortable with putting it into that use category. Mr. Williams. No, I'm, I'm fine. Is My question has been answered to this right. conversation. Mr. Burgess. I'm good, thank you. All right, any comments or uh, questions from the public? All right, Madam Clerk, roll call, please. Councilman Burgess. Yes. Councilman Shelley. Yes. Councilman Williams. Yes. Vice Mayor Woolman. Yes. The motion carries. All right. Um, motion. motion to adjourn. I'll make it. Um, can I just say all in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay, now let's move right back into the workshop. All right. Do you remember where we left off? <laughs> Actually, we finished the list.